Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your GB Studio projects to reduce lag in games that need on update events on actors. So to demonstrate what I'm talking about, I've got two seemingly identical scenes here from uh, two different projects. So with this one, we have three actors and they all move nicely following us. As you can see, there's quite a bit of lag. And when we move out of there, uh, view or they go off the screen, we get our speed back and it moves as usual. And in this scene, as you can see, we're moving along and there's almost no lag due to uh, these actors moving, but the actors are moving a bit more erratically, a bit more strangely, but they are still following us. And obviously when we go out of their view, it you can tell, but it's not that obvious. So what is the difference? So what I'm going to do is jumping in, jump into the first one, the one that was more laggy, and show you how that is set up. So on update, and opt on update means every frame, this will be happening. So this is happening on all of these three um, actors here. So what it will be doing is storing its position, storing the player's position, and then comparing the two. Um, this In this case, it's the X axis. Um, and if the player is on the left of the actor then the actor will move left and if it's on the right it will move right and this is all by one tile um, and if it's above then it moves up and if it's below it will move down and that also means if it's in the exact same position it won't move at all um, so every frame this actor is trying to store two actors positions and then move in four directions and it's checking to see if it needs to move in those four directions. And each time it's only moving one tile. So that's what's happening on all of these three here. And that's the lag that you experience is that it's them doing the checks and trying to move. But if we look in this version, if we click on a actor here, go on update. Uh, we can see it's, it's storing the position and the variables of the player, but only on this actor here. The reason why I'm only doing this is to reduce the amount of checks, so or the amount of events going on. So by only having it on this one actor, we're reducing the amount of events by two. We're removing two from one of each of these. Um, and if we click this box here, so keep running while off screen, and we make sure that this actor doesn't get fully deactivated, so it can still um, do this um, even when it's off screen, it means that these two can still function correctly. Um, and as you can see, I have a cool script here. So on the very left, uh, if we press on this script, we can see there are some things that are disabled when it's green and the two lines, I mean, it's disabled. It means I was testing and I could obviously bring them back in if I want. But uh, basically we are storing actor A's position. So that means we're stocked a storing the actor's position. And then we're um, checking, is it to the left? And if it is to the left, we're, we're moving three tiles to the left. So by doing this, we're, we're trying to reduce the amount of time it's checking and 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 instead have the amount of time we're moving increased, right? So you can imagine every time this moves three tiles, it does, you know, it stores one set of variables, while the other one, every time it moved one, it would store uh, one set of variables. So that means it's storing three for every three tiles it moves. So um, you can imagine this one will be optimized for that sense as well. But if you see, we've opened up the else here and we've also added the opposite directions. We're also doing this on the up slash down of it. And obviously we're always making sure it's free. By having this wait, I think that it reduces the amount of stress on a single frame because it's waiting 16 frames, obviously. And it gives the player more uh, time to move. And it let, hopefully, I think that's the reason why it looks less laggy. Um, otherwise, this movement of you know tiles is definitely a contributing factor. If you think about that for a minute, if we were to have it on pixels, you see in uh, GB Studio 3.1, we now have pixels. So if we were to move one pixel at a time rather than three tiles, I can imagine the lag would be insane. And I would like to test that at the end and you can see what it's like. Um, and as you can see, we have another uh, wait in the end here. So first thing we did here was we increased the amount of tiles it moves. We added weights in between things to make it have more time uh, to do other things. And we also reduced the amount of checks by putting it on the else. And those three things together, I believe, is the reason why this can get so... It feels so laggy. Oh my god, this one's so laggy right now. It's my laptop being a bit slow as well. And then this one is just so 
clean and crisp. It's almost, um, you almost can't tell when you leave, but you can if you're looking out for it. Um, and obviously, you may not want your actors to be this dumb, um, you know, where they are making horrible choices or whatever, um, but it will help you optimize your games. And um, I hope you've taken this into consideration in your own games now. So as promised, I'm going to try and make this version as bad as I can by changing the tiles to pixels. Okay, so I've set all three to pixel movement now. And now it's absolutely crawling. So I think my theory of the, f of the movement being the biggest factor is probably true. Um, if we have a look at these again, it's almost as if there's no lag at all, but obviously there is. And then these, let's have a look again. Absolutely crawling. So definitely think about your actor's movement and how many tiles they could feasibly move without it being too weird. I would say two is a good, you know, standard, but one might be a bit too much or a bit too little. And then the pixels are just, don't even, don't even bother. Um, I would only use pixels for if you're going to be animating something, for example. But yeah, I wouldn't do it on update like I'm doing here. So yeah, I'll put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you very much to you guys. You guys are the best. I really hope this video was useful, and if you have a game that uses something similar to this, um, definitely think about um, how, ways that you can optimize it for yourself, and designing your game around optimization rather than thinking about it after you've um, encountered the issues, right? It's better to have these problems in mind and design um, with fixes ready to be deployed rather than it is to be shocked when a problem like this occurs. And I hope this was informative. So like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you want to see in the future, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.